welcome back to the channel. Another wild camp again with Thai. Been camping wild with a dragon. Three of me goes back out. I brought the, the present for us all. The beacons box. Nice. And uh, nice, I've already chosen mine. I'll have cribbing. Oh, it looks like Mark's having cribbing. And uh, I'm having pen fan. What's the other one? Corn D. Oh, so Simon's having corn D. So Simon, just feel buddy. Take him out because uh, we can't carry the box. We're having we corn D, so it's obviously his choice. <laughs> <laughs> the other two have been picked. Hey. Hello, man. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. That's me, Ben. Thank you. Cheers, Doug. No worries. Come on, D. Cheers, Doug. Happy days. Lovely, Jeremy. Yeah, 5%. we get, as soon as we uh, get set up, yeah, we crack these bad boys open, is it? Yeah, looks nice. Aye. Have you got a bottle opener? Uh, no. Have we got a bottle opener? Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I've got a bottle there. On my keys. Go in. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, we're going to do a, a two and a half mile hike now up the Gruen Vaua Reservoir. It's absolutely tipping down outside, man. Check this out, guys. Yeah, so apparently. Uh, the weather forecast is saying uh, it's going to brighten up this afternoon. Be a good soak in for us now, guys. Right, I'll get back to you later. Right then, just left the car park, we're on the move. We've had uh, <laughs> quite a lot of rain the last few weeks yep this path it's more like a, a stream the like guys got their gaiters on damn I've got the gaiters
It's actually quite impressive, isn't it? I'm wearing my frog togs today. Uh, yeah, they might look a little bit ridiculous, but they weigh like just over 100 grams. So, and the bagginess of them as well makes them uh, quite breathable as well. So, but it's no fashion show. I know why. I might look a bit silly, but they should keep me dry. Right then guys, it's a bobby down here and I think we're going to welcome over them, over around them trees somewhere so yeah if it's a popular spot over there for wild camping I tell you what, I'm absolutely soaking not from the rain from sweat wearing this thermal thermals underneath <sighs> nightmare Who goes there? Uh, <laughs> Only me. Someone's out of the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shall we go as Cool. It's cool. Right then guys, just found a pitch, Twin Peaks already up, yeah it's still raining, that's all it does, rain, look at that view, absolutely stunning man, oh, yeah, got hailstones, <laughs> crazy weather, it's amazing I. I just wanted to show us guys. It's a quilted V sheet for the climate pad. Uh, I'm not sure if it fit any pad, but uh, there's the pad. And here's the sheet. And it just folds over the top. Right, guys, this is my uh, sleep setup. I got a rip stop. Reflector underneath and a bit of carpet underlay. I see uh, carpet underlay is pretty good stuff. 
and you've got my climate mat and I got the climate sheet over the top of that so it should be a bit warmer um, I've managed to shove two Trekology pillows in that sleeve they should stay put yeah guys I struggle with one so I'm hoping that uh, I'd be more comfortable now with two pillows tonight and they stay in place laying over that in the morning this is a snug pack elite sleeping bag uh, goes down to uh, minus five that's comfort and minus ten extreme I tell you what guys that was one soaking wet walk yeah I didn't uh, I didn't put my gaiters on and Simon and Mark they had theirs and I wish I did the same uh, the bottom of my trousers just sop in my socks are starting to dry out a bit I have got spare socks but water have got in on my Gore-Tex uh, boots over there so they ain't gonna, they're not going to dry uh, that's the thing with Gore-Tex uh, once they uh, wet then they stay wet so uh, I got my uh, uh, down booties oh yeah I uh, got my down trousers on oh yeah all downs lovely and warm yep uh, the only thing is not down and that's uh, my sleeping bag that's uh, some fat deck I think I should be pretty warm tonight uh, stop raining now I hope it stays like that I think it's forecast dry weather now for tomorrow maybe the odd shower uh, yeah my uh, wet stuff is in there my jacket soaked uh, just trying to uh, dry these out for tomorrow I got my thermals on underneath as well so I should uh, be lovely and snugly uh, right, I got two cans This one's a chocolate milk stout. I'm not sure if this was one I had with me last time. I don't think it is. Because I know I didn't drink the last chocolate one. And I can't seem to find it. But I, the thing is, the missus to pick these up to me, so... Uh, yeah, so I think I might crack that one open soon. And... Jam donut, guys. Oh, yeah. Pump up the jam, man. That's a 5% there. Uh, this one's a 5.2% there. Always have my cheese strings. And I've brought this with me now. This is probably the third time I've brought this out. Uh, I had this off, uh, well, I won this off camping, Dan. And uh, every time I took it, I just never go around uh, eating it, so hopefully I'll have it on this camp. Who knows? If not, then I'll have it on my next one. Right, oil in the bag. These are uh, heat seal ones. Uh, I used an iron to seal that. Obviously, you fill, you fill it up and you get the iron in. I just iron off about them. The wife made a stew. So I got like a beef stew inside this. And I weighed this last night and it came in about 630 grams. Yeah, pretty heavy. Yeah, I wasn't too happy with the weight, but you know, maybe start getting into dehydrating my food. Because that's proper heavy. Yeah, and I got some uh, munchies in the bag here as well, somewhere. Some chocolate bars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
him up. Oh yeah. What do you think of this? Messy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Got my usual shit going up the side. Looks like a bin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Azot between 15 and 20 minutes to heat these bags up compared to the the Wayfarer which is eight minutes there. Oh, nice bit of beef. Shout out to the wife, Claire. Lovely. Thank you. Even got a dump in as well. Hmm. I'm gonna go out now and uh, eat my meal with the lads. Here's my one. Where'd you buy that? Where'd you buy that from, then? I have no idea. I can't remember. I did just like pick them up when I'm. It's not bad, actually. You like it, do? Oh yeah. I give her three out of ten. <laughs> I'll give it five. I'll give it five. Maybe six. Five or six. Yeah. Corned deep meat. Oh. Corned deep. And uh, Mark got the crib in. Let's have a good crib over We camped on our fucking ledge, wasn't right. it? It's like an amber ale, isn't it? It's cracked up open, eh, guys? We don't, don't know. Cheers, Mark. Don't worry, guys, I'll pick that up later. Leave no trace. Yeah. Put all this tight. Tight. Corn D. Panavans on the right. Cribbing to the left. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Cheers! Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome! Give me the verdict, Mark. It's tangy. Tangy. It's alright. Not bad. It's like a, a typical craft beer, isn't it? Yeah, craft beer. Yeah. Typical craft beer, yeah. Nice though. So what would you give it out of ten? First impressions, I'd probably put a five, like six. Five or six, I'd say. So for the both, five or six? Yeah. All right, let's try the, try the yeah. penny fan. No, it's nice, it's pleasant. It's pleasant, yeah. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad. Don't know if I could drink it all night, though. You can, don't, don't even give me one bottle. Big <laughs> 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 dragon, Like the sheds. Yeah, it's a typical craft beer. My opinion. I give it, I give it the same. Yeah. A six. Tell me, a lot of craft beers taste the same. Yeah. Maybe yeah, they do, they? They come out with all these uh, different flavour bitters and all that, don't they? It is also. Sometimes you it's can't bad, you can't even taste it, can you? No, yeah. I'd rather like um 
I like it. It's good, though. A pint of brains bitter with a bit of a head on it, like, in a pub. Yeah, it is nice. Future camping spots, corn beef. Oh, yeah. Watch this space. Uh, Mr. Mustaman on YouTube. He's on Instagram. He's everywhere. Probably one of the funniest guys I come across for some time. <laughs> Good guy though. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously one day we're gonna meet up with him, like have a laugh, have a camp, have a fire go in. Yeah. That'd be good. I think that'd be a good night there. Uh, hopefully uh, Taff will come along as well. Uh, you got some uh, videos coming up. She's uh, in the middle of sorting all his gear out. Taff, wild man of the woods. You are the wild man of the woods, my friends. Oh yeah. Yeah, not bad, that's good. Join the beers. Are you sure you were doing that to the wrong one? Who get the hell out of my dog? I think Simon has had a few too many again. This time is not wine. I showed you earlier. I can I add in the tent. Uh, it's by Tiny Rebel. Pump up the jam, jam donut. Oh yeah. So let's uh, check this bad boy out. I'll uh, give you a verdict on it. Mark, yeah. try out, buddy. <laughs> Tell me if you think that tastes like jam donut. Oh, you mentioned it, yeah, it does. It's not bad, that, actually, yeah. Anyway, that's jam donut. And, uh, quite nice, that is. Huh? Quite nice. Yep. Yeah. But Mark likes it, so you can have it. You can finish it off. Uh, I think I'll give her one. I don't know. I think that's a seven. Seven, yeah, seven. I agree with that. That's nice, that is. Yeah, so Mark likes it, so we oh, can yeah. have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Like this, guys. That's huge, is it a dog? Well, how about that? <laughs> Tuna and ooch, top of vanilla. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bond at half six in the morning. <laughs> well, I've had about four, four and a half hours sleep. I haven't slept the best, to be honest with you. I, uh, I had my thermals on and my down trousers. And I sort of went into a deep sleep and as all I dreamt about was my legs were on fire but I just wasn't waking up just to uh, take them off I'm glad I got them off now though God I was way too hot uh, a lot cooler now this uh, sleeping bag the snug park, Elite Free. Yeah, totally recommend this. Snug as a bug. Uh, my climate sleeping pad. 
it went down a little bit, I started to feel the ground. So that probably woke me up. So I had to put a few puffs back into that. And uh, yeah, just wide awake now, so just chilling watching uh, James Bond, Russia with Love. Never seen this one before. Um, shame about Sean Connery passing away recently. Amazing actor. So I thought uh, I'd watch one of his films. Uh, I've hooked up onto the Balancing. <laughs> it's still dark outside, so it's just waiting for it to get light now. Have a cup of coffee and get the, the porridge on. I'll speak to you later, guys. Uh, Twin Peaks still in bed, so I'm trying to speak quiet as possible. Oh my god! <laughs> Check that out guys! Bang. Oh yeah! Uh, absolute stunning man!
Right then guys, February, a bit cold this morning, just flew the drone and uh, just had to put the gloves on because my hands went absolutely numb. So Simon's over there still flying his drone, he's looking to be a much better day today than yesterday, that's for sure. The, the Simon's drone over there. Mark, got the coffee on, and uh, yeah, you can see the bobby down below. Maybe as uh, a future video in the bobby. Then, guys, as that's all packed up. Twin Peaks, they're packed up, I'm packed up, uh, there you go, leave no trace, this is where he was, absolutely nothing left behind at all, so yeah, it was as if we wasn't even your awesome man, uh, anyway, so we're going to get him move on now, we take a walk down to the dam, and uh, yeah, I might uh, try and get a drone up before we go back to the car. Get some footage down there. Anyway, see you later. Oh, see now, I might not come back. So, uh, me and Twin Peaks like to say goodbye. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy days. Yep, I had a gust, went to catch it and caught my finger with the blades. Nightmare.